Scorpio. This is your November 2020 reading. Apologize not doing it earlier this um, in November, but family issues that I have been expecting for a while now myself. But this, uh, I wanted to get that situated. But this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, November 2020. It'd be also the five card spread because we're going through different energies that are going to flip quite um, quickly, you know, um, towards mid-November. We're going to have, a, I believe, a, new, a lunar eclipse, will, which will change things. And also the fact that Mars will go direct. We just went direct with Mercury. So that, that um, itself is going to change situations. So it's good that we waited. But for Scorpio, Sun and Rising, like I said, new energies, positive energies. We'll see what's going on, okay? Incoming energies for Scorpio for the first part of November. Like I said, these energies are going to change again. Three of Swords, a lot of you are heartbroken over something. Three of Swords coming in, this is sorrow, you know? This is the energy you're feeling already. It's what's coming in. You're feeling this. In the past... Father of Cups, some of you can be dealing with a water sign, or this could be you. It's in the upright, you know, I'll clarify, you know that. Plus, I'll be giving the mini card love reading at the end here. But um, the obstacle is the Seven of Cups. You may be getting all these offers or hearing all this stuff that is confusing to you or that you do not like or they're not good for you. And that's the obstacle, something you're supposed to overcome. You know, we'll, we'll clarify that also. Current environment, Child of Pentacles, also known as the Page of Pentacles. You may be, um, some of you may be dealing with a, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or some of you may be getting messages that have to do with your money, finances, and stability. Some of you, like I said, could be dealing with a younger type or sign. What is coming towards you? The Two of Pentacles. Change is hard to accept with some of you with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We'll clarify, like I said. The ending energy, three of wands, okay? Three of wands, positive things are starting to come back in. The sun is shining in your life again, or it will, okay? Let's find out what's going on, like I said. I'm going to do the, like I said, mini love reading, and I'll be giving, giving a twin flame reading to see what your twin flame is feeling about you, if that's what you're wanting. But right now, we got to find out what's going on, because some of you... The income and energy with the Three of Swords, and I've been seeing this with other readings um, that I've been reading for in November. Not necessarily um, public ones, but privately. Um, I've been seeing the Three of Swords a lot where people are heartbroken over situations going on around them. So, the Father of Cups is in the upright and is in the past position for Scorpio. I need two cards, please, from the Eighth House to Row. This here is the, the Naked Heart deck that I just read from. This is the 8th house tarot that has to do a lot to do with your sign. I need two cards for the Father of Cups, please, for Scorpio. The star, you're feeling something is hopeless. This is, I believe this is your feeling, the two of air. And you're having trouble blocking a situation out that is hopeless. That's what it's telling me. The obstacle which you're supposed to turn around is the Seven of Cups. What is being offered to you? Confusion. Things you don't know whether you should do or not do. Whether you should accept or not accept. So the Seven of Cups. I need two cards, please, for Scorpio. Six of Water. Memories. People from the past, possibly. And the Moon. Um, things coming out that... You didn't expect in some way. Because the moon is about in reverse. Seeing things clearly. Maybe you should see things clearly also. Because you got the seven of cups there where it's confusion. So it's telling you to turn the situation around. To see things for how they are. Something about someone from the past. Or memories from the past. Current environment. The child of pentacles could do with the earth sign. Or like I said... You'd be um, maybe receiving messages of, you know, that have to do with the financial nature or stability in life. You know, some of you will be getting a message possibly from Earth sign. So, Child of Pentacles, I need two cards, please, for Scorpio. The 
the emperor, something's out of control. Four of air. People want to come out of taking a break. Things are out of control. And you're going to hear about a message. Or like I said, people from that are earth signs. Um, they're, they're kind of fed up. Someone's fed up. And it could be that um, you're waiting on messages that are more stable and you're feeling like they're not coming in. You're feeling fed up. And things are out of control. Outside influences, the, the two of pentacles change in reverse. Now, it could be a lot of things. It could be that you're resisting change or change is kind of chaotic or you're trying to regain stability, regain work. It's all those things, okay? That's the meanings. That's why we clarify, okay? So I need two of for two cards for the two of pentacles for Scorpio. Six of fire, outside influences. There's no victory on the outside influences. Five of air, someone feels defeated on the outside coming in. And there's a lot of changes going on that are kind of hard to take for a lot of people. Someone feels like they didn't get a victory on the outside. In the end, we get the Three of Wands. Better things are coming in, and the negative things are leaving with the Three of Wands. It's in the upright, and you want it in the upright. So your ships may actually come in in Scorpio. So I need two cards for that, and we'll do the love reading, like I said, afterwards. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. The Fool. Ten of Fire. Okay, you're trying to release burdens. Better things are coming in. You're going to release a burden with the Ten of Fire in reverse, but you're also very careful what you accept and what comes into your life. I do think there are positive things coming in, but you are looking at them very carefully, and you're um, deciding whether you want to just, you know, keep it in your life. I do think you will, but you're just being very careful, and the reason is because you don't like um, burdens. You get the Queen of Air. It could have to do with the air sign, or like I said, um, someone or something that is off balance there that has sharp words, sharp um, people reacting in a certain way that's kind of off, you know, with the queen of air in reverse. I guess some of you may be dealing with an air sign, an older type air sign, but I'm feeling like change is happening for a lot of <clears throat> people. You're going to get messages, like I said, and the world is kind of, you know, a little crazy right now, but Positive things are going to change. It says with the three of wands, positive things are going to change. But even though they're changing, you're not exactly trusting them. <clears throat> the obstacle is whether to accept something that is confusing or not. You may find things confusing. And you may think that, um, especially things from the past. You got, like I said, you got, you got all kind of things where you're not trusting the situation. I got the high priestess there, and I got the uh, moon in Libra with the two of air where someone's putting up their swords. You do not want to take them any burdens, and that's what you're more or less telling people and doing. You're waiting for your ships to come in, and they will. But like I said, you're not trusting in them. You're afraid that something is going to cause you a burden that's coming in as positive, but it's not, okay? Something good is coming in. That's what we're going to find out in a little bit. Like I said, these energies are going to flip again right in the middle of November. So this is what's going on in the next two weeks. So if you're feeling a little apprehensive, not knowing what is going on, not knowing where you could trust situations, realize the world is kind of off right now. Ships are going to come in and things are going to positively change in your favor. And we will read again, hopefully, um, as the situation unfolds in the middle of November. And then it does it again. The energies change in December again, okay? Let me give you a love reading for those that want love or relationship reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. I need three cards, please, for Scorpio. And this, you can choose a card if you want, and I do try to bring them all together in the end for secondary energies. Sometimes they really do relate. I need three cards from the Moonology cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. For November, the first part of November, even though we're starting a little late, but we had to. There's a lot of energy out there. It's just, it would left everything confusing. I need three cards from the Moonology for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. I 
the three cards from the twin flame messages, which I did promise you, okay? What your twin flame is thinking or feeling towards you for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. For the first couple weeks in November, or the first part of November, I should say, because we're going to have to do this again. So if you've picked a section, you know, if you feel compelled to pick a, this section, a year from now, it says. A year from now, I know, the first part, um, the sh you will show the world the real you. Things will change for you. You will show the world the real you. You will come out of hiding if you have been. A lot of people have been. But a year from now, things are going to change. You're going to be able to go out more and show yourself. And, um, if it, you know, especially when it comes to love, maybe you'll be able to attract more love also because you'll be out there more. <clears throat> now, if you're dealing with a twin flame that has been thinking about you, it says, I know it may be too late by the time I figure things out. Maybe they kind of messed up. Maybe they weren't ready. Maybe they just kind of, you know, blew you off. But they may, they're thinking it may be too late. By the, times, by the time they figure something out, you may have moved on. In this section, you pick this. There's an opportunity coming up for love, okay? And prosperity lies ahead. I did see that three of wands. Your ship's coming in, okay? But if, if someone is thinking about you, a twin flame, every time they hear a song, every time they hear a poem, or just whatever, you know, a picture, um, they feel like um, it's speaking to them about you, okay? They feel like... Whatever comes up that, you know, when they're listening to a song, they're always thinking about you. It reminds them of you, okay? So their minds are, you know, constantly um, being drawn towards you is what I'm trying to say. Big happy changes are coming. Don't resist it because I do see some resisting with the Two of Pentacles in reverse there. So it's big happy changes will come, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. That is for sure. That's why these energies are kind of popping right through and acting kind of crazy right now. Because um, they're going to change again, but energy is gaining momentum. It's starting to change. It's starting to get um, where we were stuck all this time. You're going to see a lot of changes go really kind of quickly in the next, especially next couple months. So the energy is gaining momentum. And your twin flame, when they're thinking about you, okay, this is what they're thinking. If you chose this, but I'll bring them all together. Um, you still take their breath away. You still affect them in a very... Um, um, magnetic type way you know they, they think about you you take their breath away um, they get a little in a way un, they, they get kind of I, I don't want to use the word disturbed but it kind of makes their um, day kind of chaotic because they'll be thinking about you and then maybe they'll not focus on what they're supposed to do but they still think about you quite often now I'm trying to bring these all together year from now, everything's going to be completely different. And I know that for a fact. I know that. Okay. I show the world and real you, you'll be able to come out more and feel better about yourself and get more positive and put yourself out there to where you feel comfortable. And the person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with, they feel like it's too late because they, um, even though they're going to figure things out and decide they really do want to be with you or made a mistake with you, you may not want them anymore, okay, for sure. Because you've got a new opportunity for love and prosperity is going to change for the better for you when it comes to love. And songs are speaking to you. Love is speaking to you. Someone that is remembering you is remembering you in songs. Or someone that's crushing on you is thinking about songs and you and music, how you connect, you know. And um, so realize that change is going to occur. They know in this first section, um, change is going to occur, okay? You're going to be dealing with something else uh, totally different from a year from now. Life will be totally different for you. It's not that you won't have love before then. It's just by the time from now to then, it's going to be completely different. You got love coming in, okay? You do got a new love situation and prosperity, okay? In love and life in general. And big changes are coming. And this energy is going to start picking up real soon. Real soon. as Even as I'm um, reading this. Because uh, Mercury just went direct. Mars is going to go direct. We're having a lunar eclipse. December, um, a solar eclipse. So yeah, it's going to go boom, boom, boom. You know, and keep on going. And the person that is thinking about you, you know, they really are into you. You know, 
that you take their breath away. They really think a lot of you, and that's a Scorpio. A lot That's kind of common for Scorpios when people think about them. They don't forget them very easily. They want them in their lives, and they think about them often, so that doesn't surprise me, okay? So, Scorpio, this is your reading. I'm going to let this go. I will be doing a full Celtic Cross reading probably around December. If I can't get to it for whatever en energies are occurring, because we're going to be switching it up, I'll be giving like a year-long reading for January and starting for 2021 for the whole year. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for, okay? So, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.